Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. Today, we're going to be going to the Thorn Jungle Air Dock, or at least, uh, well, yeah, we're going to be going there either way. But I just want to see if I can progress further on there because we basically hit a dead end at here at Brio Fire, and we can't do anything until we have the right upgrade required to destroy the Eastern Energy Signature. So. We need to find an upgrade that will allow us to destroy, um, shoot, I can't remember what the material was. Oh, it's fine, I can just look at it. I guess, I'm assuming I won't get that power up in this episode, but, um, either way, whether, do, whether I do or not, I can always just go back to the last episode and check to see what material that signature was made of, so I would know what to just if I have the right power to destroy it, basically. But, it's just very important to know, um, what sort of material stuff is made of so you know what weapons you can destroy with because you'll, you'll know okay uh yeah we need hyper mode to destroy these guys these are space pirates by the way not run discs as i used to think huh you may be able to use this facility to upgrade your ship upgrade my ship i'm gonna be upgrading my ship in this game it's so that's freaking awesome. We are sending the coordinates to you now. Okay. Um, does the game want me to go there now? Cause I want to at least try to get further where I am now. At least try. Travel to the Federation landing site. Okay. Huh. Uh. Well, it's looking like. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's pretty obvious. We need to get there from the cliff side, right? That's is that the cliff side? Is that the cliff side? Yeah, it's the cliff side. Where's Brio Fire in relation to all this? You can't even see Brio Fire from these other two regions. It's so far away, huh? Okay. But yeah, I want at least to try to get past the ancient courtyard if I can. I'm gonna try to. You know, that's all I can say. So anyways, uh, as I'm doing this, I'm drinking orange juice that is very high in pulp, because that's very good for you. It's just very thick, and it's almost like you're eating an orange anyway, so it's like, there's, um, there's barely any difference. Okay. You guys! You know what, actually, you know what, let's try the ice missile, let's see what it can do for us. That killed that guy almost instantly. What about you, good sir? Can I actually freeze you? Let's see what that does. Oh jeez, you're trying to hide, I see. There we go, yeah, it's actually pretty useful, okay. I'll remember that for later. I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Okay, so let's study this further. Let's study this further. Wait, I did not scan that wall? Why did I not scan that wall? Compound gate sealed shut. Analysis indicates high amounts of maldium. Maldium. The same exact material that we need to destroy the Eastern Energy Signature. So that is further proof that, that I cannot uh, get past this room. Okay. So that answers that question. I cannot get past here, but at least I want to try and figure this thing out because people were pointing out the command visor here. So that means that I'm supposed to be able to land my ship here because that's pretty much all your command visor is for, am I right? Let's do this. Okay, and then go into command visor. Okay, wait, wait a second. Gunship requires increased firepower for this command. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So, I can't see that. Wait, no, I can see that with the thing there. Ah, no, I can't. Okay, so now I understand what this thing is all about. So you just need to grapple this so you can use your uh, command visor to... Okay. Now I am actually starting to put two and two together. The thing, so it all make it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. We need to go to the Federation landing sites to get an upgrade for our ship. And said upgrade, if I am correct, is going to take care of Maldium, and that will allow us to destroy the Eastern Energy Signature and uh, a loss of progress past this wall here. It all makes sense now. Holy crap. 
So there you guys go. I am capable of putting two and two together. I just did it on screen just now. So there you go. If I am correct. If I am not correct, I'm going to be the biggest idiot in the world. And I have proven in both this Let's Play already and the previous two games that I can be an idiot sometimes. But I just figured it out on screen. I put two and two together for you guys. There you go. It's freaking... I don't know. Either way, I know what to do now. I know where to go. And the sound already went out. Why did it go out so early? It went out five minutes into the, into the episode. Wait, is there supposed to be like a... Huh. I see... Oh, oh, is that the... No, that's that's the uh, that must be the Leviathan seed. Oh, we're gonna be able, we're gonna because we're supposed to go inside there at some point, aren't we? After we destroy the energy signatures, so th so this will be available once we uh, gain access to the Leviathan seed. And I'm assuming this must be the uh, the downed vessel or Federation site. I don't know. Wait, is it a downed vessel? I I don't know. Let's find out. <sighs> Let's just go, man. Let's just go. Let's go. I'm probably going to edit out, the, edit out the sounds of me drinking this orange juice because... Because while thick it sounds, I imagine it'd be very disgusting to hear me drinking it. I just... Uh, I just have a feeling that the sound of me drinking is disgusting, so I will try to do my best to edit that out. I apologize if I do ever forget to. So now, thankfully I didn't waste too much time in there. I figured out almost immediately that I can't do whatever it is I need to do in there. So We got that far, at least. It only took me seven minutes of this episode to do that. So, anyways... It is time for, for us to progress further into Brio Cliffside. And I have to say, um, I really do need to make more use of that command visor because I'm pretty sure if I did, I would have a more efficient way of getting around Brio. Because up until now, I've been doing a terrible job of, of making making use of the command visor. And I just feel I feel especially bad for bad about because of the fact that it was taught to us by Rundis. So, to honor Rundis, it, it would only be fair that I, you know, take make more use out of what he taught me, basically. If that makes any sense. Well, actually, it does make sense. But... So I'm going to destroy the crap out of these guys, because these guys are annoying as hell to deal with. There we go. I think I got out of hyper mode just in time to not have to do that crap with the, you know, wasting phase on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so anyways, let's see. Where have I not gone yet? Oh, there is an ice door there. I could go in this room here. And maybe... Uh, I'm just going to assume that there's going to be either an energy tank or a missile expansion there. But who knows? Maybe the power-up that we need to destroy uh, Maldrium, if I am remembering it correctly could be in there, so, you know what, I'm not going not gonna to take any chances. I'm going to go to Relink Query 3 right now, because I want to know what's in there. I want to know so badly what's in there. Okay, so, um, just to recap, we need to jump into this uh, Morph Ball puzzle here and go left, because that's the way to Relink Query 3. And then, we can pass this door here, hopefully without running into any enemies, because at this point, enemies are just annoying. Just irritating as all hell. And, uh, yeah. Go from there. Okay. I guess the only reason I don't feel bad about cursing this Let's Play is because the fact that, well, there's cursing in this game, apparently. And... Uh, what's going on here? Totally forgot how to progress further in this room. I want to go back. Yeah, I want to go back. What's going on? Okay, uh, for some reason I got really confused because I didn't, okay, I just didn't look right, that's all. That was my problem, so I'm already losing my sense of direction here, apparently. That will happen. That will happen. Okay, so this is where the ice door is. Yeah, it's right there. 
All right, let's find out what's behind this ice door. Again, I'm betting that's a missile expansion or an energy tank, but you know what? Hey, anything is good, right? Anything is good. And I was, wait. Yep, I was correct, it was a missile expansion, okay. I mean, sure, I was guessing also energy tank, but yeah, get the idea. Oh, these, this is a guy we have not seen yet. Let's take a look. Gamer, non-aggressive bioform, avoid contact with a spike shell. Gee, I never would have thought of that. Spike shell of a gamer is rather durable and can only be destroyed by an explosive blast. While menacing in appearance, they are non-aggressive scavengers that feed on the waste of the other creatures. This food source has led to them being spreaders of many types of diseases. They eat shit. They do eat shit. If you can't tell, that was a Nostalgia Critic reference. Of all things, that's... You know, of all the YouTubers I could possibly reference in Let's Play, that's the one that I'm referencing. <laughs> How awkward is that? Or random, I should say. It's not awkward, it's just random. And now I get to figure out how to get past this room again. Because I totally forgot. It's been a while. Um, oh yeah, there was the... There was a grapple... Grapple point up there. Yeah, that's right, okay. That's how I need to get up here. Okay, guys, please, leave me the hell alone. I'm sick and tired of you. I'm just annoyed by you. It's not like this is an RPG, I'm gonna gain some type of experience for finding you, so that's why I'm not bothering to. There's no point in it, man. So jump up here. I can't jump up here, are you serious? Dude, just go away. Just go away. Enemies just annoy me. They just annoy me. Okay, okay. I need to remember, like, how I did this room. This is seriously a waste of time. Like, why am I even showing this? Like, I should not be showing this. You guys deserve better than this. You don't deserve to deal with this crap, man. It's supposed to be getting further, not going further back. Okay. Ugh, I get so annoyed by a lot of the crap this game throws at me. And mainly the enemies, you know? They just get my nerves so much. They get all my nerves. Ah, oh, will you please go away? I'm so sick of you enemies. Goodbye. If these guys would stop being around, then I could actually focus on what I'm doing here. Okay, so we there's that. And uh Oh my where did you come from? Dude, go away! Just go away! I'm so sick of you enemies! I'm trying to focus here on on getting out of this room. Figures. I would start this episode off putting two and two together for the first time ever, and yet I fail to see that there is indeed a simple way out of here. I just totally forgot about it. It's right here. There's a hallway to the right. Oh my god. Oh man. This is the Let's Play curse, folks. The one time I put two and two together for once in a blind Let's Play, I still managed to mess it up somehow. Yay. Okay, well, at least try and... Yeah, okay, okay. We already did this puzzle, so there should be nothing more to do to get out of here than what there already is. Okay. All right. Now that we got past that dilemma, wasted I wasted six minutes uh, trying to figure, trying to remember what I was supposed to do to get out of there. Now we can move on. At least I still, you know, got the missile expansion. So there's that. And it's kind of important to have that since we need missiles for the, um, for the ice missile now. So yeah. It's kind of interesting now because it actually works out pretty well because it gives a second use of the, you know, the missiles alone because now they do what they usually do, but now you can also, you know, open up ice doors and freeze en freeze enemies and, stuff and whatnot. Even though I have a feeling we're not going to be using that as much as we do in uh, the original Metroid as well as, uh, well, we didn't really, in Prime 1, it was ma mainly just a means of destroying enemies easier, but that was about it, but yeah. I happen to know that in the first Metroid game, you can actually freeze enemies and use them as platforms. That's one thing I, I know about the first game. Um, I don't play the- I never- I didn't play the first game that much, but I did get enough experience out of it to, you know, learn those, you know, rudimentary things about it, I guess. So anyways... Oh, okay, so our missiles are only almost fully replenished, and now we can actually uh, focus on what we're supposed to do. So the real way to go is this way, and yeah, it makes sense because 
ice store down there, and that will clearly lead to the Federation landing site. Okay, so it's not a downed vessel, it's just a landing site. Why did I think it was a downed vessel? I, I guess I was thinking of the uh, the other one we went to. Yeah, the GFS the Theseus. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be a downed vessel, just because that is... At any rate, uh, we need to go that way. So am I going the right way? Am I please? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm going the right way. They actually did a pretty good job designing Brio in a way that it's not actually as big as it seems when you're exploring it. it when you're exploring, it seems a lot bigger than actually... Or, I don't know. Just for some reason, when I think of Brio, I think of a very big um, area to explore. But it's really, it's not that big. It, it really isn't. It doesn't take the, even... Like, it doesn't even matter that my ship, uh, if my if my ship cannot uh, move from where it is, as long as I'm in this region, that's totally fine. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, we need to go this way. So we can get back to where we were in, I believe it was episode 10, actually. Episode 9 or 10, one of those two. Because I know that's around the time we got here. Yeah, something is hurting me. Something is hurting me. It doesn't look like it. For some reason, I saw like the size of the screen going red, so I thought I was taking damage, but apparently I wasn't. I am not. Okay, so this. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. We learn about this real fire. Do this. There we go. Just like that. Now we can use these platforms so we don't fall into the abyss and don't hit that thing. There we go. Okay, what is this? This creature looks familiar. We just saw him minutes ago, actually. Brionian. Or at least a larger version of him. Reunion labor golem appears deteriorated but still functional. A concussive blast may activate it. Huh. Okay. Is this gonna be like those, uh. No way! What? Oh my! Am I gonna, like, take control of this thing and move it around? Oh, okay, I guess not. Well, I sort of did, but I wasn't actually controlling it, you know, exactly myself, the game was. But still, that was... That kind of reminded me of that, um... I know... Wait, wait a second. What is that? Is that what I think it is? Unknown surface type, designed to work with an advanced movement system. That seriously looks like a wall jump. Okay. Um, please tell me the screw attack has come back. I hope it is, because that was an awesome power up in Metroid Prime 2, and I really hope it comes back. But by the looks, this it looks like it is, because these looks like wall jump services. They really do. So this is once again me putting two and two together. It looks like the well, it's still not obvious, but it looks like the screw attack has come back. And if so, I am very much looking forward to it. Are we on our destination yet? No, we aren't. We're getting there. Uh, this is the Hidden Court. Hidden Court, what could be in here? Well, a larger version of that Gotham thing, okay. Or, Gotham. Gotham? What the hell, man? Uh, whatever it was called. Okay, that enemy looks new. Maybe I should uh, actually scan it before I destroy it. Okay, it's not new. It's a warp... Okay, okay, we've already seen warp pounds, okay. For some reason, I thought this guy looked new, or he actually is. But he's not. Okay, I take weight... Yeah, I take advantage of that hyper way too much, but oh well, I can't help it. This thing's so helpful, it really is. <sighs> Maybe corrupted soon, but yeah. I just want to destroy you, sir. Sir, where did you go? You're a really good hider, I'll give you that. You're good at hiding. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm fine. I am fine. Okay, so I get it. The the hyper mode could potentially make this game a lot easier than it's supposed to be. I can see how it is now. I've seen it. So, okay. Well, still, it doesn't. It seems like pe people still told me that this is the hard, the hardest of the entire trilogy. So I don't know. Okay. So more Paul time, I guess again. Yep. Are you gonna help me, sir? It looks like it. You seem to be, like, the only good guys on this entire planet. Like, even the guy who was originally good, Rundus, is not good anymore on this planet. So, yeah, you seem to be the only good guy here. Uh, wait. Do I have to do this multiple times or something? 
The core feeds a steady supply of fuel gel into the, into the scale vines. Ignitable by explosive weapons, okay. Black the charge beam. Yep, it is, okay. Do we need to, like, uh, get this guy detached from these things or something? That doesn't look like it. Let's try activating again, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Maybe we just need to destroy each of these things or something. Okay, it's still not doing anything. Is there another one that we can destroy? No, not quite. Oh my, this looks like a complicated puzzle. Gate door is locked in place. Locking mechanism engaged. Unable to open from the outside. Okay, so it has to be open from the inside. But it looks like the only way to get to do that is like if this thing pulls on it from the inside. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get back in the scan visor. There's still more to scan here. G GF fuel gel c pumping crane is offline. Large battery appears to have been removed from it. So we need to put a battery back in place. Scale vines have a thick bark, a thick bark protecting their fuel gel soaked interior. Vulnerable at the core. That's the core, you say, and these creatures have also not been scanned yet. And they're gone, lovely. Okay, now it's probably, let's scan the statue itself. Uh, scan. Scan, I'm hitting Z, why is it not scanning? Uh, hello? I'm hitting Z. Z, Z, I'm hitting Z, why is it not scanning? This is weird, man, it's not scanning. Come on. Can you scan these enemies? Yes, you can, but why can't you scan the statue? The giant statue is right in front of us. Night Barb, oh, Night Barb's are back, okay. These guys are Metro Prime too. Generates protective fe energy field contact with field is dangerous. That's it? Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna read all the logbook entries, I just need to, yeah. I just wanna read that one. Huh, <sighs> Gollum, yeah, not Gotham, Gollum, jeez. Control unit offline, or online, will transfer energy from the slot to connect to Gollum. Okay. Yeah, I can't seem to figure out, like, what's causing the issue here. What am I missing here? I'm clearly missing something here. Let's look around, I guess. Uh? Wait. Can we... Okay, that's not... It's kind of moving it around, but I don't think that's doing anything. I'm not... I don't want to assume it is. Is there more to this room than meets the eye? Wait a second, can we freeze this to anything? Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. It does do something, I can get through here. But I'm assuming that freezing that thing is only temporary, so I'm not going to assume that I'm safe doing that. that. Oh, I see. So we do have to detach all these things in order for, in order for the, the golem to do the right thing. All right, so that's two of them. I believe there's one more left. And yep, I was right. Uh, the frozen effect is only temporary. So that supports my hypotheses. My hypotheses. Okay, so now we need to figure out a way to get... Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I need to I see another thing we can freeze here. So let's do that. Okay, now what? What does that do? Uh... Still get up here when that thing isn't frozen. What to do, what to do, what to do. Vulnerable at the core. Huh. Down here a bit. I know I need to destroy this somehow. Hmm. I'm trying to put two and two together here. at the core. Huh. I'm still not sure on this one. Okay, uh... So, all I know is that I can freeze uh, that fuel, fuel gel fault. I don't know. Um, but what will that do? I can't stand on it, can I? And if, even if I can stand on it, what would... What would that be? 
Yeah, it's, there's no point to it because it's so skinny. So, like, why, why would you want to stay on that? Why would you need to freeze it either? That something's not making sense here. Something is not making sense. Well, I can at least jump. Can I jump up here? Uh, yeah, I can. I can. Okay. Uh, if I need to. Okay, now I can scan from over here. What? Okay, Wargolem is restrained, unable to move. It looks like it's trying to reach for the control units. Okay. That answers my question. I was right earlier. Need to somehow detach to detach those things. Once again, that one also says it's vulnerable at the core, but I'm still not sure what it's talking about here. Maybe you will find out next time on Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. Yes, I know this is kind of a very awkward spot to end off the episode here, but I don't want this one to get too long, even though I wasted so much time just trying to figure out how to get that freaking room. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.